Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a canopy tour. We're going up there, up to the rafters, and we're gonna see some plants that I usually don't show you guys. I don't know that other than a few photos last week that some got some positive reaction, which is the reason I'm creating this video. I don't know that you guys have ever seen up there and seen what's going on up there. So I took some photos last week and then the other day when I was working on my misting system up there, I decided that my hanging walls I put a mister right so it sprays out on three of the four hanging walls. So there's one there and then one up there that directly sprays onto it. It's a really light mist. So on hot days, the wall itself is going to be a little bit more humid. And the last one is way up there and it kind of points down at this wall here. So anyways, I have got my trusty step stool. I don't know how this is gonna be. It's gonna be awkward because I can't use a tripod up here. And there's tons of plants and I'm going to be um, in amongst them bashing around and stuff like that. But let's um, let's try to go up here and have a look. I'm going to move it so I can stick my head through one of the empty spots. It's going to be up close and personal with the plants. So here we are. The um, side of the roof you're looking at there is about seven and a half feet tall. And then behind us, the roof gets about nine feet tall. There's about a two foot slope on the roof. So you can see some things up here. Here is my dendrobium. This is a hybrid. Um, it's called uh, Rainbow Dance, a Rainbow Dancer. It gets a dry winter rest and it's coming out in bloom now. You can see a lot of Nepenthes up here. Uh, Magnata, Forbidgeyes over here. If you look down a little bit further, there's a good sized Truncata. You can see a, a picture there. It's finally doing good over here. Some hybrids are in my face. Uh, you can see the top of the the hanging wall here. So lots of bulb phylums up here. And my brassavola is up top here. And lots of light. There's some spikes right here from my leafless orchid. I don't know. These spikes, they've been, they've been stalled all winter. And I can see them starting to yellow a little bit. I think they're, they're not going to work. They're not going to grow. I got this leafless orchid here last June. So it really only had a half of a growing season with me, which did pretty well. Lots of new ro root growth, but I think um, it formed its spikes too late in the year and just couldn't, couldn't deal with it. There's a truncata. Let's go over here. Here is a uh, Vichii platychila, platychila. And we'll give you a view of the cattleyas up here once it refocuses really close up there's a few buds in, in a bloom you never know what's gonna kind of be up here sometimes things surprise me I'm just going to there's another one up there I'm gonna move this stool and then we'll start over again okay I moved the stool a little bit so here's my Cattleya it's in bloom there and another one up there what is that? Orlata? Yeah, that's my Orlata there. Um, Dendrobium spectabile is in there. I repotted my uh, Lelia and Seps just recently. Some Vandas and Pots are still up here and around here. This wall gets quite hot. As you can, you can see I have this vinyl down. And all the roots touch the vinyl. Sometimes I just spray water and it just on the vinyl itself and it kind of puddles up here and the roots soak in it for a little bit and um, everybody seems happy enough. I realize this is going to be very up close and personal for you, for you guys. The camera is zoomed out as much as it can. Everything is just sort of in our face. So, nice oncidium there. That guy is... Chiriforum. Look at my bulb phylum phalaenopsis. Look at that leaf on that. That's awesome. I had to repot that guy this year as well. But yeah, um, elbow marginata is just sort of popping there. What else is like right in our face? The whole thing is going to just be right in our face. There is a Vichii and a Clipeta is right in our face. And a Fasiliana. But there's sort of a shot of the canopy. This is on the warm side, by the way. So it's much smaller and, and more compact. And now why don't we go over to that side, through onto the cool side, and we can see what's going on over there. 
All right, we're back on the cool side now. So this time of year and for the winter time, lots of stuff hangs up here. But as you can see from it being um, so close to the roof, it's very, very bright. And all of this stuff, I'm gonna have to watch it closely and as the days get hotter and longer, a lot of it is gonna have to come down. Uh, it was a great spot. I had a lot of the Mastavalias, or sorry, the Draculas, like this one here, up here for the winter time, just getting it, you know, the dappled sort of winter light. And they've really spiked out. So there's a nice Dracula orchid. This one's been around for a while up here. And, but look at all the spikes on it. It's just amazing. Um, what else? I'm just checking the dryness of the pots while I'm here. Lots of, lots of Nepenthes and stuff like that make it up here. They like to hang. So there's really a jungle over that side. I'm just gonna move back about two feet though and we'll um, take another view. Okay, so for reference, there's the Mastavalia. So we've just gone away from the front door a little bit more. And I've got some orchids just hanging up on the actual like rafters themselves here. They're leaning and twisting. They, they seem to like it up there. Again, I have to watch them for the summertime and they'll cook. There will be shade cloth up there, but it's still gonna be very hot even though this is on the cool side. This is early morning. I'm trying to do it before the sun starts blasting in on me. I know there's already some backlighting and stuff like that. This wall here, here is a dendrobium that I always totally forget about. This pot's not even supposed to be hanging sideways like this, but it is. A lot of my Hoyas are up here. So they're all starting to come out and spike and bloom. You can see some Hoya blooms here. Nice looking Hoya. Another bloom down here. They, um, they look so amazing. Just like porcelain. Um, my fern there, my staghorn fern. A bunch more Hoyas are up here. You can see lots of little um, pinnacles coming out on the Hoyas. Like that. So there'll be lots of blooms for the Hoyas this spring and summer, hopefully. Just sort of slowly rotating on this little stool. You'll see all kinds of fans up here in the corners and stuff like that. There needs to be good air movement up here. Another little orchid. Let's hang on little tiny hooks up here. Another one there, and a couple more over there. This is my um, display hook. Sometimes I do a video with a hanging plant, and this hook just kind of hangs down there. This is about head level here. So my Vogelia is looking very nice up here. And yeah, why don't we go on the other side here where um, these plants are here. All right, we're getting further away from the front door and closer to the back of the greenhouse. Here is my always forgotten about Dendrobium thersiflora. He sits up here. He has some good years and some bad years. He really needs a good repotting. I see some new spikes coming out though, but I don't see any new buds on him yet. Maybe. It looks like there's some like little swollen bits right here that could could be buds. Uh, some more Hoyas are up here. And some bigger pots of Hoyas and stuff like that are up here. My Bacuria spectabilis is hanging quite high. It's got some nice buds coming on it. It's a beautiful plant. Sorry it's out of focus. It's hard to be on the ladder and everything is so close. Um, this guy, I always forget his name. Collagen Cristata, that's it. So he's sitting up here right now as well. And I'm just waiting for his spikes to develop. He's just sitting on the shelf. But um, yeah, I see lots of spikes in there. It's going to be a good year for him, I think. There's another one. Oh, and my finger's on another spike. So looking forward to that. What else do we have? There's my variegated Hoya. The Miranda has just gone crazy up on this side. Uh, it's just sort of nuts. I'm going to hack that back this year, I think. My platychillas are up here. Yeah, I'm not sure why the, the Miranda leaves are even yellowing. It's just the vine is like so big and it's like just needs to be just needs to be hacked back. Free up some space here. Let's go down for one last look. All right, so now we're in the 
the back corner of the greenhouse. And you can see again all the Nepenthes up here. It looks really cool from this angle. Right, right, right in front of us is my Palawanensis swinging away because I just bumped it with my shoulder. And Hamada cross Ventricosa. And slowly turning here towards the jungle. You'll notice um, fans are blowing into like every corner. It's important to keep all the um, corners in that from getting stagnant. So you see another fan is up there, a black one. And yeah. So this is just a jungle. I got to work on this this year. Um, I'm probably at least an arm's length away from the wall right now holding this leaf. And it's just solid tangled vines. I don't even know what is what anymore. This poor chain is being strangled and the vines are coming out. I know this thick one here is my Sibuensis. But other than um, knowing what this is, the rest are just a guess. There, this darker one's probably a Spectabilis. But yeah, so that is a mess. Everybody always wants to know what's up in this corner up here. So all these, all these leaves look like they're dying. These plants look like they're dying here. This is just where my Lycastes go to sleep. So I can kind of clean this up a little bit while we're here. You throw down some dead leaves. Oh, I can stretch enough to get this one. Yeah, there we go. It looks like it's um this shelf is in trouble up here, but it's really not. It's just doing its thing. Uh, it's out of the way from the misting. It's out of the way from my my hand when I'm watering. It gets plenty of light up here because it's again right below the the rafters. And so you can see my Lycastes. Some of them are actually starting to. There's some spikes already starting on them. They have to go dormant and have that dry rest though before. I see um, my Cycnotes right there is starting to come out with some either some new bulbs by the looks of it or or um, spikes but I think it's new bulbs because the spikes actually come up from up here uh, my Millennium Witchcraft is up here that is tucked right in there you can see a new spike coming sorry a new bulb coming out on that possibly one on the other side too so that's nice it's still got some of its leaves we're really zoomed in there we go and yeah but they're just going to sit up here for a little bit longer until until I feel that it's time to bring them down and start watering again and then they'll actually um, get dispersed in the greenhouse into different locations but for the winter all these sort of types come together and um, are just happy to sit up here and rest for a bit it's cool it's dry it's humid Make sure when you're giving your plants a dry rest, you don't strip away all the humidity too. It's still humid where they're from. It's just not raining at the time. But anyways, that is a canopy tour for the greenhouse. I'm not going to get down anymore, but I will try to turn the camera one more time so you can see a bunch of stuff. And maybe lift it up there. So yeah, lots of stuff goes on up here. Lots of stuff that I don't get to see very often either. So it's kind of nice to um, come and poke around up here. Here it is. I'm just noticing um, a nice picture on the Hamada Rob Cantley eyes coming out. That's nice as well. See, we both find stuff together up here. But anyways, I hope you liked this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. As always, thanks for watching.